Hey everyone, this is Lisa and today we're kicking off a new video series where we'll explore the different types of views offered by NoCodeDB to help you manage and visualize your data effectively. Whether you're managing projects, tracking inventory or organizing events, NoCodeDB has a view that fits your needs. Let's get started. Here I have a product catalog database set up with several tables. To create a new view, simply navigate to the left sidebar, click on any table and select the view type you want to create. Let's start with the grid view and name it only office furniture. You can use the grid view to view many records and fields at once, just like a spreadsheet. And in order to only display the office furniture, let's quickly add a new filter where settings is equal to office. And now you have your filtered grid view ready. Next, let's move on to the form view and name it new furniture form. Form view allows you to create custom forms for data entry. Now you can design forms to match your exact data collection needs. Next up, we have the gallery view. Let's name it furniture gallery gallery view allows you to display images as thumbnails with other fields just like a gallery this view type is ideal for viewing images in a gallery like interface next let's take a look at the kanban view and let's name it furniture by type Kanban view allows you to organize similar records into stacks and for this, it requires a single select field to be set up. Let's select the type of furniture based on which these stacks will be created. Next up, we have the calendar view. Calendar view allows you to visualize your data in a calendar format and for this, it requires a date field to be set up. So let's take another table which has a date field like client orders and create a new calendar. Let's name it deadlines. And there you go. You can also visualize the records in a day, week, month or year format. Remember that views are simply ways of viewing your information, but if you do edit your data in any of the views, that change will be updated everywhere. To show you this, let's edit some data in the grid view. Let's rename twist side table to twist table. And let's check the gallery view. It has updated. Let's check the main table as well. Also updated. That's all for today and in the upcoming videos, we'll deep dive into each of the views, exploring their unique functionalities and operations. So don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.